As you can see, I'm a Yankee fan, and I'm really young at heart. However, I look pretty silly. After all, I'm an old man, it says here. So, we'll turn this all the way around and be more appropriate for a guy my age. How old am I, anyway? You know, you will have bad memories. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> okay, enough of the jokes. What I want to talk about now is Joe DiMaggio it was not the only DiMaggio brothers. There were two other DiMaggio brothers. There was Dom DiMaggio and Vincent DiMaggio, and all three played at the same time. And yet, who remembers Dominic and Vince? I do. I remember Dom when he played for the Boston Red Sox, because he always played for the Boston Red Sox because he was a tremendous outfielder. He was very fast, and he could hunt down baseballs probably better than Joe, and he was probably faster than Joe. Now, don't get angry, Joe DiMaggio fans. And sometimes he took hit, uh, base hits away from uh, Big Joe. And that was what I was afraid of. And uh, he wore glasses, incidentally. And they looked like street glasses, as far as I could tell in those days. He was not too tall, and he was referred to as the little professor. He seemed to be a very likable, relaxed the young man, and he certainly wasn't wound as tight as Big Joe. Once again, DiMaggio fans keep calm. Now, the other DiMaggio was Vince DiMaggio. I don't remember too much about Vince because he played in the National League. But I do recall he had a reputation for being a long ball hitter, a home run hitter. Now, I went to Wikipedia to get some additional information on the boys, the two brothers. I'll try to make this a fast, uh, don't go away, okay? I said don't go away. Dominic Paul DiMaggio, former center fielder in Major League Baseball, played his entire career for the Boston Red Sox from 1940 to 1953. An effective leadoff hitter, he batted 304 times and led the American League in runs twice and in triples and in stolen bases once each. He also led the American League in assists three times and put out some double plays twice each. He tied a league record by recording 400 putouts four times. Great outfielder. And his 526 total chances stood as an American League record for nearly 30 years. His 1,338 games in center fielder ranked eighth in the AL history when he retired. His 34-game hitting streak, are you listening? His 34-game hitting streak in 1949 remains a Boston Club record. So there you go, it's in the family. Incidentally, Vince was the oldest, uh, Joe was the middle, and Dom was, was the youngest. Uh, let me read a little about Vince, just a, f just a few seconds. I know, I know, I know, take it easy. DiMaggio was a fine... <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> DiMaggio, Vince DiMaggio was a fine outfielder and a smart base runner. He hit 21 home runs with 100 RBIs for the Pirates in 1941 and led the league center fielders in assists three times and put outs twice. He ranked among the National League's top ten home run hitters six times between 1938 and 1945. Besides this, he was prone to strike out. We won't discuss that. He was a two-time All-Star selection in 1943-1941. In the 44 All-Star game, he hit, he hit a home run, a triple, a single, and three times at bat. 
The same year, he dealt with four grand slams for the Phillies. Vince DiMaggio died in North Hollywood, California, at the age of 74. So there you have it. There were two brothers that Joe DiMaggio had, outstanding ball players, who played at the same time as Big Joe did. Let's not forget them, because DiMaggio was not a single reference. It was a reference to three great baseball players in those days.